Hello all, uh, Vinod here from Endurance Engineering Academy. So there is one question which has been asked uh, from our student, okay, recently, okay, very recently before one week, okay, um, not even one week, okay, before some three, four days, I guess. So the question is something like, uh, it is related to gate XC, gate engineering, uh, gate engineering science question, okay. So what is the question was, uh, he was sure about one subject, as we know from the from the knowledge of uh, engineering science paper, we know very clearly that XCA is compulsory and the general aptitude is compulsory. And out of the remaining options which we have, optional paper which we have, we need to select two papers, right? And what he did was, anyway, these two are compulsory, so that is XCA mathematics and general aptitude compulsory. And uh, he selected XCE okay thermodynamics was confirmed he said that he is going to attend thermodynamics he is going to appear in thermodynamics but what about the other one paper he have he has two choices okay xc um, b and xc d okay b is nothing but fluid mechanics d is nothing but solid mechanics the question which he asked was which one i need to choose okay whether i need to choose fluid mechanics or i need to choose solid mechanics so for whom this confusion will come, okay, for whom this confusion will come, mostly for the students who already prepared for ME, okay, gate ME, you already prepared for gate ME and you are trying for gate XE because gate XE syllabus was comparatively less and also you are planning only for MTech or not looking into the options of public sectors, okay. So if that is the case, those who already prepared for ME and now they are retrying it and they are retrying it with XE alone. If you are one of the aspirant who is having the same confusion, let me try to give you the answer. See, when it comes to this question, I won't able to give you the exact answer, which means I won't ask, I won't say that go for XCB, go for XCD. No one can say that. Okay, obviously. But there are few things which you need to analyze before deciding, okay, whether to go for fluid mechanics or to go for solid mechanics. Let me just start with the first point. The first point is you you would have, have like you you will be having some basic knowledge about fluid mechanics also and you'll be having some basic knowledge about solid mechanics also i'm assuming it okay because um, you have already prepared for any exam either any exam maybe last year or before last year or uh, from your basic knowledge of your engineering bachelor's b engineering or b tech whatever uh, you will be having some basic knowledge about fluid mechanics and solid mechanics the question is out of this two uh, topic fluid mechanics and solid mechanics which subject is more interested or which subject is more interesting for you the reason why i am saying interesting for you because different person has different perspective and different person has different interesting subject if i ask one person you will say material science is a very interesting and very uh, interesting subject for him when I asked another person, material science is a subject which I which I which I will never follow, a subject which is very dry and I won't able to follow at all. And if I asked to some person, fluid mechanics was very tough, I won't able to follow fluid. I, I will be better with thermodynamics, I'll be better with heat transfer or solid mechanics. But when it comes to fluid, I'm not comfortable with that. So that is the question which I want uh, want you to ask um, to yourself. Okay. So that is the first question. Ask which subject is more interesting from your point of view. Okay, from your point of view, which subject is more interesting for you, fluid mechanics or solid mechanics? When it comes to fluid mechanics, um, all the basic fluid mechanics which is there for ME and also there are some additional topics such as Reynolds transport theorem and uh, navier stokes equation and potential flows etc. Okay, and when it comes to solid mechanics, it is a combination of engineering mechanics, strength of materials and some part of vibrations. Okay, so just keep these syllabus in mind and think. Okay, even though you don't know the syllabus completely also, you know what is basic fluid mechanics, you know what is basic strength of materials, right? So which of the two is more fascinating for you? Which of the two is more interesting for you? Think that. After thinking, you will get to know an answer. Just note it down and keep. Two. Um, as I said already, you have prepared already for gate ME, right? So if you have prepared for gate ME, you would have solved some problems from strength of materials, you would have solved some problems from fluid mechanics also, at least gate previous year questions of ME. Even if you not solved also, you will have some idea, okay, everyone should have studied strength of materials, everyone should have studied fluid mechanics in your BTEC. So you will be having some idea about what is fluid mechanics and how the problems will be, what is strength of materials, how the problems will be, you will be having an idea. Now think, out of this two subject, which subject 
i can solve i can solve problem uh, what is that at a faster rate okay where you will be having more speed okay, because which subject i can solve a problems at a faster rate at the same time without losing accuracy see if suppose fluid mechanics and strength of materials Uh, that is solid mechanics both the subject are in the same range okay both the subjects problems looks almost same to you if i uh, if i give any problem from fluid yes i can solve if i give any problem from solid yes i can solve if that is the case then uh, then both then this point is not going to be that much useful for you and also those who have not at all prepared for any exam gate me you have not prepared for gate me at all you are directly jumping into gate xc then only one option you have that is based on this you need to decide but if you have already prepared for gate and me you have two options okay which means one is you need to choose which one is more in, most interesting subject most fascinating subject that is the one option the other option will be in which subjects problem you are able to approach you are able to solve the problem easily you are able to see easily means it's something like comparatively you have to compare and decide okay compare solid mechanics with uh, fluid mechanics and decide so which subject you are able to do at a faster rate at the same time without losing any accuracy without doing any mistakes without doing any silly mistakes if you able to find out if you able to analyze these two points and if you able to find out some answer obviously you will you will know okay that is which subject you need to choose uh, based on this two point decide which which subject is more fascinating which subject you are you are able to solve at a faster rate at, at all at the same time you are not losing the accuracy based on that decide whether b is comfortable for you d is comfortable for you now the question comes uh, sir you are saying like this but what about the question level in gate xc what about question level uh, gate xc b and gate xc d out of this two b and d which one will be easier we cannot say see honestly we cannot say when it comes to gate 2021 this is the same thing i said to uh, my student also and same thing even though if you have not watched this video if there was any guys who was not watching this video and if they ask me i will say the same thing xcb and xcd if you take the papers of gate 2021 both the papers are easy fluid mechanics and solid mechanics both are easy easy level only they are not very tough in fact gate 2021 fluid mechanics and uh, solid mechanics papers are easier than 2020 they, they are actually easier than 2019 2018 also but if you take 2018 19 20 the papers are something like fluid mechanics is also somewhat moderate to difficult level only of course the paper level will be higher than me guaranteeing that that is for sure paper level will be higher than me but they are moderate to difficult few questions are difficult few questions are moderate and very less questions are easy something like that uh, earlier days like, like 2018 2019 and taking solid mechanics similar the case that is also moderate to difficult we won't able to say uh, comparing fm and solid you won't able to say which one is more difficult which one is less difficult okay so compare it and uh, why i am saying this see if you have asked me last year okay or before last year also i would have said go for fluid mechanics but last year the questions of fluid mechanics and solid mechanics both are easy so when it uh, when the gate uh, when the gate has started to ask these types of questions in both the papers b and d there is not going to be much difference in choosing b and d the only difference that is based on the paper uh, to decide whether to go for b or d nothing is going to be like nothing is going to be much of an importance but based on this based on your uh, self analysis if you choose one that's going to be very 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 helpful if you are more comfortable with fm you are very strong in fm already then obviously going with fm and uh, and uh, improving in that okay solving some difficult question at taking the test series and all those things that is going to help instead of focusing on uh, a completely fresh subject solid mechanics because solid mechanics has been easy in 2021 so don't expect that solid mechanics will be easy in 2022 also it's not guaranteed we cannot guarantee suppose we cannot guarantee that suppose there is a possibility solid mechanics will be very tough in 2022 fluid will be very easy but at the same time there is another possibility also fluid will be very tough solid will be very easy so we won't able to decide it now okay we won't able to decide it now only after the exam only we can analyze it and we can find out which which paper is comparatively easy comparatively tough but overall if you observe there is there are going to be some questions which are very tough there are going to be some questions which are easy okay 
fine so i hope you would have got an idea if you have not yet decided which subject you are going to which which topic that is either b or d which topic you are going to take if you have not yet decided it then i hope this video will be helpful for you to decide it before ending it okay so we have xc courses okay for all this xc a b d and e interested do check out in our website and also we have test series xc a b d and e okay test series subject test topic test and also full length mock test everything was included if you are interested check this also that uh, link also i am adding in the description and for test series demos are there okay so demos will be there even i am i am attaching the link in the description also uh, or else you can just simply go to our uh, course page and then you can simply uh, sign up using your mobile number and uh, your uh, mail id and then you can just uh, go to the free content okay, if you go to the free content you will find out the demo test also you can check the demo test and then you can decide whether to go for it or not and then coming to xc course even for video courses also we have we have demo videos just go to playlist okay in the same youtube channel which you are watching endurance engineering academy go to playlist for all okay for gate xca xce xcb xcd for everything there are demo videos go through it if you are interested in any you can do uh, if you are interested you can just register for any of the courses okay thank you